What is up, Maori Warriors, and welcome back to another video and another hip mobility follow along routine. It's actually been almost a couple of years now since the first one. I thought it was about time this one deserved an update. So, if you want to watch the original one, I will link it in the description down below. If you also want the link to the offline PDF version of this routine, again, linked below. Uh, but other than that, let's jump into this routine. When it comes to equipment, you're just gonna need a couple of things here. Uh, I have a chair for a change. Uh, you can use like the edge of a sofa. You're probably gonna want something that is around 40, 50 centimeters in height just to complete some of the moves of this routine. I would also recommend having a couple of yoga blocks or cushions as well. It's gonna come in useful. Right, so we're gonna kick this routine off with the good old hip swivels. So you wanna start seated, legs outside shoulder width, chest nice and upright, Support with the hands behind. Try to feel like you're going to roll the hips over. So we're going to roll onto our hamstrings rather than being rounded. Drop the legs to the right hand side. You've got internal and external rotation. Try to keep the chest facing forward. Swivel back. Swivel back. So we're going to do 10 of these in total. Just pause them for a few seconds on each rep. Nice and simple. Just a good way to get things moving initially before we jump into the harder stuff. Now this routine is going to start off a little bit similar to the last routine just because they're good exercises so there's no point switching them out for the sake of it but then we're going to do a couple of different movements as we get into it the routine is kind of designed to be a bit of a warm-up maybe for a lower body session maybe a hip specific session so after we've done these 10 little swivels we're actually going to test our squat position so we can have a look at before and then we're going to do the routine and then we can have a look after as well. So this is gonna be, I think that was the 10th one. We'll do one more on each side for luck. Perfect, so I want you now just to hop up and we're gonna try and sit in a resting squat position. Now, if you're up here, if you're falling backwards, that's fine. Take note of it, take note of how it feels, maybe how it looks, take a picture, and then we're gonna do the routine and we're gonna give it a test at the end, see if it improves. So, hopefully, You've done that, if you haven't done that, pause the video. But otherwise, let's go back to that starting position, that hip swivel, and we're gonna start by dropping to the right-hand side. So we're gonna start in a 90-90 position with our right leg forward. So 90-90, hip 90, knee 90, leg going out to the side and forward. We're gonna do just some good mornings here. So we're gonna try and hinge down. And when I say hinge, that doesn't mean we're gonna round the back down. We're gonna try and keep the chest nice and upright, try and roll the hip over far as we can, hold for a few seconds, come back up. When we come back up, try to feel like you're gonna push back up using your knee off the surface. So we're gonna do five of these, as far as we can down, push that knee to push us back up. We're gonna do five and then we're gonna hold for 10 seconds. Should be feeling a nice stretch in the glute of the front leg. So last one, you're gonna hold on this one as far as you can forward. I keep the chest up. Can be a sort of active position so I can actively kind of push my knee into the ground a little bit. Four, three, two, one. And we're gonna just swivel to the other side. So we're gonna go back around 90-90 again. So that front leg coming out at 90, bent 90-90-90-90-90. And then we're gonna do those hinges again so we're going to come forward as far as we can push that knee into the ground to push you away and each time we're going to try and go a little bit deeper into the stretch Before we're going to hold for that 15 seconds. Again, trying to get as far forward with the hinging as you can. Four, three, two, one. All right, so don't change too much. We're just going to now rotate forward to the side. So we're going to bring a little bit of an internal rotation stretch onto this leg. We can actually think about leaning away slightly, so leaning backwards, and I'm going to try and rotate my sternum actually as far as I can round towards you know ideally we're going to get sternum over this middle leg if we can do try to feel like you're going to get a sternum all the way over to that 
back foot as well. Whilst you're doing this, try to actively pull that knee down towards the ground. We're just gonna hold for 30 seconds. So this knee wants to stay down, this knee wants to stay down, actively twisting the whole time. For some people, this might feel a little bit more awkward than others. So, you know, you can lean back a little bit further or you can just rotate less. Keep holding for a few more seconds. And then we're gonna swap sides. So, you're gonna go to our 90-90 with the right side facing forward. We're gonna come back, we're gonna twist into that back leg. And again, pushing both knees into the ground, trying to rotate our torso as far as we can around. Feel like a bit of a weird kind of internal rotation stretch on this left leg now. Just gonna hold it, but actively pushing those knees down and twisting away. Just keep holding. few more seconds. Perfect. So I'm going to shake it off a bit. We're actually now going to do a little internal rotation drill. And this is when you're going to need a couple of yoga blocks or, you know, a couple of cushions, basically. You're going to need one just to support your head. So we're going to start lying on our side in kind of a fetal position. And then we're going to bring the knees up to 90 degrees. So we've got a nice degree angle here. Just going to place one of those pads between our legs, just so that our knees are kind of roughly the same angle as our hips. We don't want them to be too closed. So once you've got that set up, you're just gonna to want to just make sure you're somewhat comfortable. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an active lift of this foot into internal rotation. Now, when you first do this, you might find you get some cramping in like your TFL, glute minimus, all of this sort of little muscles up around here in the hip. That's good, we're looking for that potentially. If you're not cramping, it doesn't mean it's bad. It's just, I'm just pre-warning you. So when we do that lift, we're gonna hold for 30 seconds and we're gonna try and constantly be lifting this foot higher and higher and higher, as high as we can. So we're gonna do 30 seconds on one side and we're gonna do 30 seconds on the other side. We're gonna see how good my mental counting is. So three, two, one, lift. So you're gonna always think about trying to lift that heel up as high as you can. Even if it's cramping, try to lift harder. Keep lifting, keep going, 30 seconds. It's not fun, this one. Keep lifting. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you can shake the one off. For you at home, you can just roll over. I'm gonna do the other side now. I'm gonna switch around so you can see. And this will be interesting because I know for a fact that I have a difference between sides. Um, I'm sure probably many of you at home will also have a difference between sides. It's perfectly normal. We are human beings at the end of the day. So one more 30 seconds, get yourself set up. And then we're gonna lift that leg high as we can. This is my tighter side personally. So 30 seconds. Keep trying to lift. Keep lifting higher, 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 even if it's cramping. Keep lifting. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. We're done with that one for the moment. This is now, we can just shake that off. This is now when you're gonna need that chair or that elevated surface. So, we're gonna do uh, a little piriformis drill. Now, the height is gonna make this either easier or harder. So, if this is a little bit challenging for you at whatever height you have, you can go about and you can just like elevate your supporting leg. But essentially, we're gonna bring our foot in front of us we're gonna keep the foot in the midline of the body. So it's gonna sit directly in the center. We're gonna let that knee drop out to the side. Place the hand underneath the, the ankle just for some support. 
So we're essentially in like a half tailor pose position, but the sternum is going over that front leg. So this is now where I mentioned about if this is tight for you, just lift this knee up, it'll get a little bit easier. If it's too easy, which it probably won't be, then you can go higher. We're just gonna come forward and we're gonna try and hinge as far as we can forward and then come back. So similar to the first drill, as we hinge, we're also gonna try and think about pushing or pulling that knee down towards the ground. So we're gonna do five of these and we're gonna hold 15 seconds on the last rep. So get yourself nice and set up. I hope you're in a good setup. I hope it's comfortable. If not, pause the video, make sure you do and then come back to it. So we're gonna hinge forward, reach as far as we can forward, feel a good stretch and come back up. a slightly different angle to that 90-90 position. We're actually going to focus a little bit more on that piriformis. That's four, so we're going to do five, and then we're going to hold for 15 seconds. So get into that fifth position. Really try to sink down. Doesn't matter too much if you get some rounding of the back here. You want to think about just trying to pull that knee down towards the ground. Keep holding. Three, two, and one. Okay, cool. That's the first side. Kind of intense. It's a pretty intense stretch. Big fan of that one. Okay, we're gonna now do the left hand side. So again, lifting up. I like to place the hand underneath so we've got like a little triangle going on so I can secure my foot. Again, let that knee drop out to the side. Focus on sternum going over the foot. Gonna hinge forward. Lovely. So again, five reps, 15 second hold on the last one. All the way forward, hold for a few seconds in the bottom. Feel that stretch in the, the piriformis in the glute. So last one, hold for 15 seconds. sink down into this one. Four, three, two. Oh, perfect, all right. Shake it off, but we're gonna leave the chair where it is. So, we're actually gonna come onto the chair or the surface that you've got. I'm gonna come into a sitting position. And we're actually gonna do a seated good morning. So for this one, we're gonna go into like a real wide squat position. We wanna keep the knees just beyond that 90 degree position. And we're gonna wiggle the hips back so we're sat on the hamstrings as opposed to sat being slumped. From here, we're just basically gonna have hands above head, so like a prisoner sort of position, whatever you wanna call it. We're just gonna try and hinge forward. As we hinge forward, you can also try and slightly push the knees out to create that space but trying to keep the chest up at the same time is kind of why we have the hands like this. We're gonna reach forward as far as we can, get that stomach between the thighs, and then come back up. So that's a seated good morning. If you have some weight lying about, feel free to chuck on some weight onto your back, but body weight is fine. We're gonna try and focus on getting just as deep as we can here. A little bit of backgrounding actually isn't a problem, it's fine, but we wanna think about trying to feel those hips rotating. So again, we're gonna do eight to 10 reps, and we're gonna hold that last rep for 15 seconds. So, nice and slow down. Really feel that reaching forward. You know, you all, you, when you're going back up, you should almost feel a little bit of weight lifting from the seat into the heels. So remember eight to 10 of these. Six, a couple more. Seven. So last one, I'm gonna hold that last one for 
15 seconds. Active position. Trying to keep the chest up, but trying to sort of almost feel like I could stand up from this position. Really trying to think about driving the belly button down. Two and one. Okay, we can move that chair back out of the way. We're gonna come now into, uh, into a kneeling position. So back onto the knees, hands are gonna go behind you. So we can support ourselves with our hands. Pin the shoulder blades back, lift the chest up. And we're just gonna do, we're almost there by the way. Last drill, so we're gonna try and basically squeeze the glutes, push the hips up nice and high, hold for a few seconds, and come back down. So we should feel like a stretch over the hips, uh, over the hip flexors and over the quads. We're gonna do five of these, and we hold for 15 seconds. So it's two. So really feel the glutes engage and the glutes are trying to drive up, opening up the hips. We're also gonna think about trying to push the hands down behind us, try to open the chest as well. Last one, we're gonna hold for 15 seconds. All the time, trying to push the glutes as high as you can, push the shoulders away from you, stretch over the chest as well. Three, two, one. Perfect, shake it off. And then now, Let's have a look at that squat. I'm gonna get back into it. I'm gonna see how does it feel. Obviously, we haven't taken a look at the ankles, another common restriction, but the hips wise, the hips should feel a lot better in that squat position. If they did, let me know. Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear how you got on with the routine. If you just enjoyed this one, you can also hit that thumbs up button and support the channel right next to it as well. Is that subscribe button if you wanna join the Bodyweight Warrior or Tribe and don't miss out on any more future videos. But that has basically been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and...